What's poppin' homies? <clears throat> What's poppin' homies is your boy Frank Nitty. I'm in New York still, today's day two. About going to actually meet up with my grandmother today eventually. And um, after that, we about to take it to the streets, probably hit the Brooklyn Bridge, some other stores. It's kind of noisy right now because they're actually mowing and raking and using the, the leaf blower, which I didn't even know they had lawns in New York, man. <laughs> but whatever. Anyways, I'm waiting for my Uber and then I get the day started, all right? Wow. All right, so my timeline is all over the place, so I'm kind of improv in this. I probably end up narrating a few videos in the future, so I want to bring some context and some organization to these videos. So the next thing you about to see is me leaving my sister's house, and we about to go and hit the streets of New York, Manhattan, actually, and go sneaker shopping. All right, peep it. All right, so I hit the streets. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Brooklyn Bridge. And maybe get something to eat. Leave my sister's apartment. She ain't here though, man. What's up? Yo, it's hot outside. I got this tech fleece jacket on, man. But anyway, but anyways, man. Let's go outside and see this pot. Damn, it's hot out here, bro. I'm gonna burn my ass up. All right, so we slowly approaching the Brooklyn Bridge. Every time I come here, I'll always walk the Brooklyn Bridge. Contingent that the weather is great, which the weather is. I had to take off that tech police jacket, man. It's crazy. But anyways, man, this is going to be my third pair of ones that I'm de undeessing on the Brooklyn Bridge. The first time I had the Brez, the second time I had the Royals. I also want to say I had the reverse shadows, but today I got the OG shadow ones on. And we about to walk across this bridge. Then we about to get into the sneakers, all right? Man, let's throw in some B-roll right here. <laughs> Pictures of her. So, where are you from? Singapore. I don't think I can hear you. Singapore. She says Singapore. And what brought you here to New York today? Just uh, for my birthday trip. Birthday trip. Yeah. Traveling along, got friends? Yes, by myself. Gotcha. Wow, she traveled by herself in New York City. That's what's up, man. You have an Instagram you like to plug so people can follow you, see some of your pictures? It's like M A R I Z H O U L. Okay, that Z meets Z. And she got some Ultra Boots on. So y'all got Instagram. Check her pictures out, man. Let me know what you guys think. Um, other than that, man, I appreciate her for jumping on the vlog. I took a couple of pictures, so I asked her to jump on the vlog. You know what I'm saying? Just to make some content. All right, y'all. Peace. Bro, I know I keep saying that we about to go to a shoe store, get it popping, but bro, there's so much to see, man. I should just do this as a separate vlog, right? That's what I'm thinking. All right, y'all, just got off the Brooklyn Bridge. On the Manhattan side right now, so I'm in the borough of Manhattan, fresh off the bridge. About to go 21 Mercer, which I think is a Nike spot. About to go inside, see what's popping. It says like 14 minutes walking distance from here. If I jump on a train, it's gonna be like 11 minutes, but I don't think I'm gonna wait for the train, man. I'm just gonna just walk it right and also see what's popping along the way other than that that's pretty much it so we definitely about to go to a sneaker store yo right about said we had 14 minutes ago now we got 11. all right we are like five minutes away finally bro finally night lab 21 m 21 mercer still got these available and the black joints so they may have this in my size. So I'm gonna jump on the bad wagon and cop this if they got it. If it fits actually. I actually like this. With the Skeptus or the Deluxe. I don't know what the hype is about these, bro. I am not a fan, man. These things are bulky and heavy. Psh, hard pass for me. But these are Supremes. Spectrums. Yeah. So here's a size 11 those acronyms. Yo, they're just sitting here in NYC, man. Let's see if a size 11 gonna work. Might as well join the bandwagon, right? This is the left shoe. Let's try this joint on. Yo, 11 is not that bad, man. I'm actually, I wear these. Aye, aye. Yo, these are the women's Volt shoes, man. First time I see them in person. Obviously, they're small sizes. Vogue, right? I said Vogue. I meant to say Vogue. It's like a little deconstruct. Yo, I have not seen these in person, bro. These 13s with the strap, 13 lows. I feel like Mike Rich was the only one that bought these joints, yo. Ah, uh, they here if you care for them. 21 Mercer. 
with uh, the seven holes? You already got him on the mannequin, man. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. What's your name? Tristan. Tristan? Yo, this is the homie Tristan, man. Ran to him in New York, of all places, yep. man. Yo, where you from? Brooklyn. Same. Okay. Same, same, same. Oh, BK's in the house. Oh. That's what's up. Yo, tell me about purchases, man. We, yo, what's the odds of finding these joints right. at the spot? Like a week later. A week Presto's later, bro. Acronyms. That's right. You know Presto I mean? Acronyms, man. We both cop. You got size 13, right? 13. I got size 11, man. It was hit for 200, though, man. I didn't expect to pay that much. Right. I mean, you could have paid it. more. You're right, man. Resale. Resale. <laughs> Resale. That's what's up, man. I appreciate you uh, no doubt, watching bro. my videos, man. Thanks for the support, bro. Up, bro. All right. I think it's a head on the back, the 23 on the sleeve. That's what's up, man. I remember this joint back in the days, bro. Nike on the bottom left, Jordan patch on the chest, Jordan jump man with air on the sleeve. 90 beans, medium. Oh, they got the army. Oh, they got all three colors, man, even the red joint. Yo, I just left 21 in Mercer, and you won't believe what I caught, bro. <laughs> Yo, patience, man, patience, bro. What's the odds, man? That's why I like going to sneaker stores in New York, because the demographic is obviously different. The type of shoes you'll get is gonna be different. So, what's up, what's up, what's up? But yo, you can find some stuff that, you know what I'm saying, sell out in your area, but you can find it readily available here in, um, in New York. And that's what I did, bro. Still played some guap for it. I didn't know it was gonna be that expensive, but it is what it is. Stadium goods right across the street. So I'm gonna walk in there and see what's popping. Stadium goods, yo, cue the sneaker shopping with the Puma music right now. Tony D2 wild shoe, bro. Tony's shoes in the building, bro. All right, so I just left Stadium Goods and Palace. Couldn't really record in Palace. Stadium Goods, I don't think they're pretty much kid, but I did a lot of B-roll, as you can tell, man. Now I'm trying to see what else we can get into before I take it to the crib. Um, there's supposed to be Kith around the corner and also like Nike Soho, so I'm gonna pop into one of those spots and I'm gonna call it a wrap for the day. I hope you guys enjoying this vlog so far, man. And I'll see y'all when I get to the next store. Or maybe not. Maybe I might take it to the house so I could discuss my pickup. What's popping, y'all? We are back in the sneaker room. Had a exciting time in New York, man. I was able to see my grandmother. If you guys follow me on IG, y'all saw my post. But nevertheless, man, the Nike Lab on 21 and Mercer. What's the chances of finding a shoe that sold out on the Nike sneaker app, but still available a week later at that spot. It just goes to show every location have their type of demographic where people buy shoes based off the culture and trends in that area. If a shoe sold out on the other side of the United States, doesn't necessarily mean it's sold out everywhere. There's always stories about, hey, shoes sitting in my area because this type of demographics, this type of shoes that that location may care for more than the shoe that we care for on the other side of the States, man. And today, or that day I was blessed with the Nike well the air Nike Prestos utilities mids these joints I think they call them cool grays but these joints was readily available in the Nike lab as y'all could tell when I pulled up they was just sitting bro I was like let me join the hype let's see what these are all about so I tried this shoe on and I'm like Yo, it felt really comfortable off rip. To be fair, I did try Prestos on before. I actually wanted a mid, but I never pulled the trigger on a Air Presto mids before. So this is the first Air Presto I have in the collection, and this is the first mid. And partly due to the hype, you know what I'm saying, I actually give it a second chance, and I'm happy I did. This shoe is dope, very comfortable, but that price was very uncomfortable, man. These things was hitting for $200. I'm like, wow. Now, they're not going for much on the resale market, which is fine, which is not a big deal, which is not the reason I bought this. I wanted to see what the hype was about i tried it on and it was very comfortable now this shoe sold for 200 and it's hitting roughly around 250 so there's really not much reselling market out there for this shoe but that's okay though that's okay there was two other shoes along with this pack it was like the volt colorway 
and there's all also the multicolor. They had the Volt colorway shoe there, but it wasn't in my size. But I'm a fan of all black and gray shoes, so this did it for me. Let's run down this shoe real quick. You got a Nike swoosh on the toe box, and the toe box is very stretchable. What I like about this is it didn't come in a large, because I eventually asked, let me get a large. It's like, yeah, it'll come like that. What's your size? So I got a size 11. I downsized because I know these shoes may be a little bit big, given the fact that this has stretchable material in the toe box. So over a long period of time, this will conform to your feet. It do got that black and white pattern around the toe box, as you can tell. And you got the branding acronym stitched throughout the collar of the tongue. Rope laces. You do have zippers. The acronym zipper, both on the lateral and medial side. And you also got a cage zebra looking pattern on the medial and lateral side as well. Also in back of it, you do got this button you can unbutton and button back up a little bit of leather i'm nothing go crazy about you do have a cage for heel support in the back uh prestos on the lateral mid cage and you do have this elastic on the upper boot as well dope shoe dope shoe readily available seven days after release that sold out on a nike sneaker at. How many of you guys cop this? If you didn't cop this particular colorway, which colorway do you cop? Is this your first Presto, like like myself? Do you buy the Presto because of the hype, or do you buy it because of the comfortability? I'm a little bit of both. I went to see what the hype was about. They had them readily available. I tried it on, and I was like, yo, this is a dope shoe. And I could also envision the type of outfits I would rock with this shoe. There's the right shoe as well. Nothing different on this shoe that was not on the previous shoe. Uh, let me take out this cardboard for you guys. This is that two cardboard, acronym X. Nike Air. They do have a BRS 1000 on the outsole, and the outsole is also great and black. I like the silhouette. I like the colorway. I'm a fan of all black shoes, or all black and gray, and I think this would definitely, definitely complement my collection of shoes. So not always I have to wear Jordan 1s. I could change it up through Air Maxes, now with Prestos, Air Jordan 1s, and a plethora of the Jordan silhouette and models I have, man. Happy, happy, happy to have these, bro. I don't want to ramble on too long, so comment down below. What shoe have you wanted that they were gone day one? And and then you pulled up a week later, two weeks later, and you was able to cop because it's just rarely available at that location you went to. I love going out of state and I love going sneaker shopping because you would find gems that otherwise that would be sold out in your area and they'd be rarely available in other areas. And that's what I like about going to New York. It's so diverse. A lot of shoes can just go unnoticed because there's so many different people and people cater to different things that they'll just leave things be. Where someone like myself, a foreigner to that land, I'll come through like, whoa, they got these let me get them and that's how i got those man if i'm rambling off if you're new to this channel and you like what you just saw you like this pickup you like my trip to new york do hit that subscribe button that notification bell as well everybody else man keep leaving comments down below because your boy is replying to each and every single one of you until then man you already know my slogan good to go Thank you.